Our patients are my friends and our community. Our physicians live in our community. So why are we providing a regulatory, administrative, and financial burden on small physician businesses that make their growth pretty much unattainable? Hello, my name is Kim Marden, and I am the CEO of Watauga Orthopedics, located in East Tennessee. I've been with Watauga for 15 years, and I have worked in independent private practices for 27 years, which is basically my entire professional career. Being a big orthopedic practice, we determined that there were some delays in surgery and in patient care. So our physician board got together and recognized that we needed to develop another ambulatory surgery center so that we could take care of our patients in a timely manner. Private practices like ours and small practices really have a financial burden of trying to obtain a certificate of need to take care of their patients. There is no guarantee that you will be awarded the certificate of need, but the money, once you apply, is gone. The process of a certificate of need in the state of Tennessee is actually quite lengthy. We formally started the process January of 2020. The CON filing application to the state of Tennessee cost us $95,000. Of course, we had to retain an attorney and some other experts. We estimate that the CON process alone cost us more than $300,000, and that was before even starting construction. The CON hearing took years off of my life and years off of our physicians' lives because we were so not only financially invested in that process, but also extremely emotionally invested in that process. Luckily, our certificate of need was approved, and that was approved on October the 28th of 2020. And three, almost three years later, we are finally able to perform procedures in our ambulatory surgery center. But this entire process has taken three years, and that's three years of delay in the community for another orthopedic center to be open and potentially delaying a patient's care. Here in East Tennessee, it is very difficult to be a private independent practice. As you may know, our medical community is dominated by a monopoly healthcare system, which makes growth very difficult for private independent physicians. We do not need a certificate of need board to tell our community whether or not a service is needed. I think that you could go to your healthcare patients and ask them whether or not that you need another facility and your patients will tell you because they tell our physicians and they tell their physicians what they need and it has nothing to do with an 80 page application that you have to turn into the state with a $95,000 application fee.